What's going on, fishing buddies? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to give you a rundown of how I'm filming from a fishing kayak. Let's get it out there. It was quite a bit of trial and error with this when I first got started. As you can see in this clip, I'm about to show you. I lost my camera. Oh, I just lost my camera, bro. I have lost a $500 camera out here on the kayak. <laughs> so once that happened, I readjusted and uh, figured out a way not to make that happen again. But I'm gonna show you guys how I've broken this down over time. Um, I've tried different methods. This is the one that's working for me right now and is super effective. This is all the equipment I'm taking. The camera is a GoPro Hero 9 Black with the media mod. The camera that I'm filming this on is the exact same thing with the exact same media mod. Taking the chest mount, a must have. This is a tripod, adjustable tripod you see here. I'm gonna show you where I connect this and this is for my phone. This is an extension stick here. The GoPro mounts to the top and this will extend out and down. I'll show you that in a minute. And then just this little gooseneck. This is pretty small, actually. This is uh, maybe 10 inches. So this, I'll show you where I attach all this stuff to get the footage from the yak. Let's start off with this gooseneck. I attach this right to the front of my kayak. It's one of the first things I do as I'm setting up because all this is adjustable. I'll kind of run it in here, pull this down tight. Kind of get that one out of the way. And I use this to stick my phone in, basically for like pictures and stuff. As you can see, the seat is right there. So if I catch a fish or something, I already have this mounted. I'll just grab my phone out of the dry box and snap it on there real quick. Set like a 10 second timer on the phone, hit photo and go sit and pose with my picture. And that's how I get a lot of pictures for like Instagram, Facebook, um, platforms like that. The chest mount is key. Uh, really for any filming involving fishing where you're you're not in one spot you're constantly moving around if i hook up on a fish i can i got this camera set where i can just click the top button and it starts recording so if i hook up on a fish i can click this i'm recording wherever i'm going the chest is going either way i can get up turn around this goes with me the whole time the problem with just using the one camera though is i'm really only filming my hands the reel and the fish in the water you know sometimes you want to get a third person view and that's where the second camera comes in handy and i'm going to show you how i have that set up on the yak now to get a lot better footage for you guys to enjoy all right guys this is my second camera setup camera gooseneck extension so what I'm doing with this, and this didn't come overnight. I had to do some playing around before I figured this out. But I'm connecting this gooseneck to the extension arm. And then the camera to the gooseneck. Like so. Now this will extend quite a ways too. As you can see, I mean, it's a, it's a nice size stick with that extra gooseneck. You got 10 more inches really, and it'll come down all the way for easy management too. Let me show you how I put it on the yak. So this is one of my, one of, one of three flush mount rod holders that comes on this old town sportsman. Love this kayak, by the way. So this one is closest to me. These are more set up for the back. The rods run out to, towards the back of the kayak. This one 
shoots up front. So this is mainly like for the rod that you're using at the moment. What I've done is I've added another rod holder to my track mount here. This is a Yak Attack uh, rod holder. I think it was like 30 bucks. Um, fits perfectly with the with the cut um, with a track mount that comes with this old town. And now I'm taking this camera and I'm using the flush mount to film. So this goes down in there and you can see it is down in there. I mean, we can even measure it. I'll kind of grab my finger there. I mean, it's a solid foot, a solid foot. So it is super secure down in there. This rubber, this rubber handle makes it even more secure. And what this gooseneck does, it allows me to adjust however I want. However I want to film, this will adjust. I want to film myself talking, it will adjust. I need to push it to the back, it'll adjust. Oh, I need to get it down, it'll adjust. It's a real easy grab, twist, turn. That has been the key that I've found to doing a lot of this filming. I'll show you more now. A lot of times I'll extend it all the way. I'll use one of these back flush mounts. Same thing, slide it in there. Again, I can adjust it like that. And now I'm getting like a back view. As I'm sitting here, you got the camera coming to the back. So it gives, you know, a different angle. I can use this new rod mount that I added, slide the stick in there. I got it kind of wedged. Let me see if you can see. I kind of got it wedged down in there tight. Runs out and with the gooseneck, I can crank it up and again, sitting here, I can talk to the camera. So I'm in the yak now. And as you can see, it is just right here. It is just at my fingertips to turn on and off. It can't get any closer. I mean, it's just perfect. What I do now, since I've lost one, is I've added just a basic rod leash. Clip it on there. That's it. And it's not going anywhere. How I lost this and that footage you saw is when I went to push it down in here, I wasn't paying attention. I was watching the current. I was watching for fish and I didn't hit it right. And I let go and it fell over <laughs> and sunk like a rock. Um, there are like flotations device you can put on this, all that. I find it gets in my way. Um, when you're out there and you're starting to, to get into filming and fishing, you, you realize real quick that the less is better. So I try to keep it simple. I keep my rod leash on her now and I can move this rod leash wherever. So if I got it out here on this guy and I'm talking to the camera, I can stick it on it and even right around there and it's not going, going anywhere. This little $4 rod leash if i would have been using this before would have saved me 500 dollars. i like to when it's really close like this it's right here if i wanted to if i saw something maybe in this direction i can just grab this camera and go real quick boom all around me i'm getting quick footage of what's going on and then right back in the rod holder Nice. Guys, there's multiple mounts out there, multiple ways to do this thing. You got to find out what's working for you and really what kayak you have. Where are the flush mounts? Um, where's the track systems on this kayak? You know, you really got to kind of dig down into it. But as far as this model of Old Town, it's the Sportsman 106. This is what I found effective. And this wasn't my first try at this. You know, I went through probably three other different mounts. They all worked. They were all effective. They got footage, but I just wasn't getting the footage I wanted. It was very stuck and stock, uh, stock feeling. Like the camera wouldn't move. I was getting the same shot everywhere. Um, I couldn't get high, couldn't get low, couldn't get behind me without doing a lot of adjusting. And that's when I came across this stick with the gooseneck. And this, my friends, has been producing. 
I'll have all these items linked in the description of this video for the GoPro accessories and the cameras um, in the Amazon links. So check them out. If you're getting into this thing, you're trying to figure out how, how's the best way to go about it, maybe this was helpful. If you're already doing this and you're having trouble getting good footage, maybe this was helpful. So I hope it helps somebody out there because this took a lot of work for me to figure out this system. A lot of trial and error, uh, a lot of buying mounts and they're just in the garage now because I don't use them. So I'm trying to cut through all that for you guys and just show you an effective method that'll pretty much take care of all your filming needs. If you guys are enjoying these videos, please hit me a like, hit me a subscribe. It really helps out the rhythm of my channel. You can check me out on Facebook. You can check me out on Instagram. If you're coming to the Perdido Key, Orange Beach area on vacation, you want to do some kayak fishing, you want to do some surf fishing, I do run uh, guided, guided charters in the area. You can find all my rates at PerditoBlading.com. Till next time.